I just wanted you bum, to bum, know. Bum, bum. my channel I hope you all are doing well if you're new to my channel my name is Cass and you should subscribe because because just because I'm gonna be doing a look using one of my favorite palettes it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern Renaissance palette this palette is honestly so beautiful like these colors are just me like if I was like if I died these would be my ashes yeah so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to take the NARS All Day Weightless Foundation in the shade Barcelona from Fake Tanned at the moment, thank the Lord. Oh, I forgot to prime. Oh, see, 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 when you're in a rush, it's a prime not to prime. And I just going to be able to prime. Now I have to take this off. Apply $70 foundation. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite primer. It is the Dr. Brannett Pores No More. This stuff is like the best primer I've ever used in my life. It, it honestly makes your face so flawless. It covers all your pores, but it's so expensive. I usually apply it with a beauty blender, but I've been really liking applying it with a brush and then going in with a beauty blender just to like give it that more flawless look. I haven't filmed in so long, the reason being so is I've been really, really, really sick. I had this really bad like stomach infection, it's called like oh, Helicobacter or something like that. And I was on like these really strong antibiotics and they made me so, 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 so sick. And then I was fine for a week. And then I got the head cold and like the stomach flu and stuff and honestly. I was dying for a good solid like three weeks and then I went to go film last week yeah I went to go film last week and when I went to go edit the footage it was all blue so today I'm filming with like natural lighting because I usually film with my softbox and I don't know if it was my softbox lights or just the camera that I was using so hopefully this is better I wasn't gonna do like a chit chat like makeup tutorial but I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I just thought I'd talk, you know, see what's going on. So then I'm just going to take my damn beauty blender and just buff it in. My favourite concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Light Warm. I'm kind of running out of this too. Like, honestly, I'm running out of everything. I need to go to Sydney ASAP. Or maybe I just need to go back to America. I think so. But I'm so excited for Mecca to get the new Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks. When I was in America, all I wanted was the shade Queen Bee. I saw it in Maui, but we're only just there for the day when we're on the cruise. And they had the shade, but I was like, no, I'll wait till we go to like the other Sephora in like Honolulu, because there's two there. I'm sure I can just pick it up there. I'd rather pick it up when I go get everything else. That was sold out. Every single Sephora was sold out. Is it modern renaissance or modern renaissance? Is it like how people say Anastasia and Anastasia? Like they're spelled the same. I don't know. So I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. This I get my powder out of my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder. It's running out. I'm gonna go. Also, my tops from American Apparel. If anyone's from. To contour, I'm gonna be using the shade and light palette, and I use a mixture of those two shades.
So I'm just going to do my whole face and then we'll go into my eyes. And I'm just going to go with the Zoeva Luxe Face Focus Brush. I'm just going to remove that bake. And then I'm going in with the yellow shade from the Cap On D palette with the same brush and just putting it on my eye. You want that like a real highlighted. Bam! And the dirty's gone. Does anyone else have that? Is that an Australia thing? Bam! And the dirty's gone. I actually put it under my contour. Just to, you know, make that a bit more intense. To bronze my skin, I'm using MAC Gimme Sun and I'm just using an Artiste Professional Bronzer Brush. For highlight, I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow and I'm taking a mixture of all the shades. For that, I am using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. What do we do now? Brows. I use a lot of products for them at the moment. These are the new Benefit brow products. They are honestly incredible. Don't tell my mum this, who's Anastasia Beverly Hills, not my actual real mum, but I haven't touched any of her products. Like I haven't touched any of them after I like received these. These are incredible. So I'm taking the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I'm in the shade four. take the Benefit 3D Brow Tones and this is in the shade 2 so this is like a brow enhancing highlight so my hair has like brown in it, has blonde in it so this is like a blonde like gel and then I just like brush it in so it's not as crazy. I don't know if you can like tell. Then I'm taking the Ready Set Brow and this is probably like my favourite brow gel. Okay, so first off I am taking the Sigma Soft Blend Conceal Brush and I'm just taking the colour Tem Tempura. Putting that all over my lid. So on a Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush, I am going to be taking Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange mixed together. These colours are everything. And I'm just going to like apply that kind of in my crease. It doesn't have to be too neat. Then on a Zoeva Luxe Soft Finer Brush, I am taking the colour Rilga. And that's going more so in my crease. And you'll want to like tap it off because this colour is pretty pigmented. Like honestly, just look at those colours. <sighs> I die. And then on a Sigma Firm Shader Brush, I'm just going to take the colour Temperature again. For the lid, I'm going to be taking Prim Primavera on a MAC 239 brush and I'm just packing that on my lid. With the MAC 224 brush I'm just going to go and blend. We'll also blend like the top where I put it, not so much the bottom because I want to keep that nice and like pigmented and bright. Okay. I'm just going to take the Artiste Airbrush Flawless Shadow Brush and I'm taking Cypress Umba and just like the tiniest because it's so pigmented. 
So I'm kind of just like, yes, this is what I wanted. Yeah. Just so lightly, just to give it a bit more depth on the outer corner. And just a big fluffy brush with no extra product, blend. And on that same Artiste brush, I'm taking Rulga, just like dabbing my thing, dabbing my brush into it. And I'm just going so slightly, so lightly on my lower lash line. And then on a Lux Soft Definer brush, taking Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and blending that. For inner corner highlight, I'm taking Vermeer, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I'm putting that on my inner corner. And then I'm taking the Benefit High Brow Glow, and I'm putting that under my brow bone, and also there. I just blend that out with my finger. A Rimmel waterproof scandalized black liner. I'm putting that in my waterline. For mascara, I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex. So for lip liner, I'm going to be taking Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. So then I'm going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Crush and putting that all over my lips. This colour is so beautiful. I love it alone, but I love it even more with the colour that I'm going to put on top of this colour. So that is just crush on your lips. You can leave it here if you like it. But I like putting Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So there you go guys, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That way I know to do more looks like this, more looks using this palette and yeah. So please leave any video requests that you would like to see me film for my channel as I'll be more than happy to film them for you guys as I love you guys. I'll see you next time, bye.